Hello and welcome once again to my channel, HiCat Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the part 2 of my video on how to design 3D spiral staircase. Now, this is the first one, the part 1 of it. And you can see here that there are gaps, open gaps between the steps on the staircase. And the part two of it, here is the part two of what I'm going to show you now, which is this. You can also see that there are no open gaps here. Um, this is purely a concrete cast staircase. So I'm going to clean up this and start this very one afresh. So I'm going to wipe this now. Okay, so I have to do my setup right here. Type U and type units. Okay, and main type is decimal, then precision is zero, and instruction scale is millimeters. Okay, so I'm going to switch the view to top to start this drawing. Okay, and also the workspace to the 3D modeling, which is already highlighted. So I'm now going to start with the circle command. Click on circle and draw a circle of diameter 300. So draw another circle, repeat circle. This time of 2300. 2300. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line from the center of these circles to touch the bottom point of this very big circle. Okay. Now I'm going to array this line. Using the array command, so I'm going to choose polar array. Click on this. Here are the center. Okay, so I'm going to choose items and enter 15 and exit this command. Right, so I'm going to clean up some of these lines. I'm going to clean up some of these lines. I'm going to highlight these ones. Clean up this. Enter. Then leave in these ones. Now with the trim command, I'm going to trim up this. Trim up this. This one. Okay. So I'm now going to change the view to southeast isometric. So I click on this. Okay, so that's now I'm going to press pull this to a height of three thousand. Click on this and pull it up to three thousand. Exit command. I'm going to press pull this up again. This one to a height of 200. Then press pull this to a height of 400. Okay. I'm going to draw a line of 40 on this midpoint. Align with this and draw a line of forty I'm going to do the same thing right here, so repeat line from the midpoint here, 
draw another line of 40. Okay. And we draw a circle with here at the center. Draw a circle of diameter 40. Diameter 40. I'm going to draw the same right here. Repeat circle. With here at the center. Draw a circle of diameter 40. Okay. I'm going to turn this around a little. Okay. Now I'm going to array this very one using the array command. So I click on this and choose polar array. Click on polar array and array this very one. On this, which here at the center, and I'm going to enter 15 items. Click on items and enter 15. And exit this command. Delete this. Okay. So I'm going to use the union command and join these two, this and this. Okay. So next, I'm going to move this. Click on the move command and move this. And pick it up from here and drop it at the midpoint of this. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Click on move and move this with this circle. Enter. Pick it up from the middle point and drop it at the midpoint of this. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing right here, one after the other. So we move command, move this and this, pick it from the other point and drop it at the midpoint of this. Okay. This continues. Use the move command, keep the circle, and this, enter, click from here, and drop it at the midpoint of this, okay. Mm.
Okay, so I'm not going to press pull these small circles. So I click on press pull, click on this, and press pull to a height of 1000. Okay, so the next thing I want to do now is to use the spline command to connect the top of these extruded circles. So I come right here and click on spline and locate the centers of these extrusions. Okay, now exit. Fine. So the next thing I want to do now is to draw a circle of 40 units diameter. Diameter 40. Button. If I click on sweep, I like this and click on this plane. Okay, so that's so next I'm going to copy copy this down to a distance of 350. So I click on copy, click on this, enter, and move it down 350. 350, enter, and exit. Copy it down again to another length of 350 units. Click on this down to 350 again 350 okay exit the command okay next I'm going to close up this gap so I'm going to use the sphere command to do that so I click on sphere and locate the center of this, this space on the sphere of diameter 45 Okay, click and enter a diameter of 45. Okay, so that is done. The next, I'm going to create the base now. So I'm going to ex extrude this circle to a height of 200. So I click here and choose extrude. Click on this circle and extrude 200. 200. Okay, so that's the base. Now I'm also going to press pull this from here to a height of 1000. 1000. Okay. That's it. Now with the union command, click on union command and try this and this and this and this and this. Enter. Turn it around. Union command. Command from this, 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 and this. Enter. Okay.
So here the circuit is now completed. So thank you for watching and please do subscribe for more of my tutorials.